Good morning. It is Thursday, October 4th, 2007. This is ABC 7 News at 11. We start with breaking news right now from North Suburban Deerfield. A woman was shot to death in Deerfield this morning. This was one of the biggest stories I've seen in many years. Police say the victim was the girlfriend of former Bears player Sean Gale and that she was pregnant with his child. Her friend also tells us, and I am quoting him here, that Sean Gale was her whole life, that he meant everything to her. No suspect information is available at this time. Well, people jump to conclusions all the time when you first read something like this. You know, wow, breaking news, this is crazy and it involves a former Bear let alone an 85 Super Bowl bear, oh my God. I think people were shocked and horrified just by the act itself. <laughs> it seemed obvious from the beginning it wasn't a random crime. Whoever did this was after not only Ronnie, but after the unborn child. Someone deliberately took that child out. The Lake County Major Crimes Task Force headed up this murder investigation. The shooting sparked a heavy police response. The Deerfield Police is not a very large police force, but when you call in the resources of the entire county, it can make a big difference. So as the detectives are out there gathering evidence and talking to neighbors, some puzzling questions emerge. Investigators say that someone reported seeing a teenager running across the street shortly after she was shot. Several witnesses apparently told police that they saw a young African-American boy in the area right after the shooting. Another witness said this person was wearing a disguise and that it was a very petite person. Maybe around five feet tall, baggy track suit, something dark possibly over the person's face. We get a report of a small black car leaving the scene. Was it a robbery? Was it a contract killing? It just didn't add up. It didn't make sense. Police want to question Sean about the crime. Now remember, Sean called police to find out about the crime, and that's when they told him about Ronnie. Deerfield Police Department. I'm calling about that shooting in, in Deerfield. Yes. The police are going to look at Sean calling them from sort of two different directions. It's a logical thing to do. A loved one's been harmed or killed. Was it Ronnie Ryder? Is he OK? You know, the other side of that is with him reaching out to them, is he saying, I need to cover my tracks? Listen, I've been getting calls from the, the, the media. This is Sean Gale, and they're trying to say they're naming me as a suspect. Sean Gale calling us right away within hours of this murder was a little suspicious. So Sean hangs up the phone with Deerfield police, and he voluntarily goes down to the station. I can't believe this. I'm a... <laughs> Sean Gale was questioned for 10 hours. You know, it's, it's hard because being an avid sports fan, it really had to focus on the fact that he was just another individual and that he wasn't a sports figure. I had to forget his celebrity status. You know, we, we essentially have to treat him as he is the suspect. He was visibly upset. He was uh, shaken. But by the time he sat down for questioning, Detective Scott Frost said that Sean Gale had become strangely composed. You know, I, I figured I would see more of a, uh, a, a sobbing Sean. He was very reserved, very calm. We were having issues with his timeline from what he did the night before, what time did he go to bed, what time did he leave? He seemed like he was off in his times, and it's just like, well, you know, I'm not asking you what you did two weeks ago, okay? I'm asking you in the last 24 hours. Like, you know, something doesn't seem right. We need to really research things. The day that Ronnie was killed, the police obviously need to know where Sean was. On the morning of the murder, Sean says he slept in, worked out with a trainer, and then went and got a haircut mid-morning at a barber shop about 10 minutes from Ronnie's house. The problem is, it's not airtight exactly where he was when she was killed. And so as a result, the police are really gonna have to nail that down. The police were trying to figure out if Sean had a motive. They talked to a lot of Ronnie's friends. They found out or they heard from different people that maybe he wasn't 100% thrilled about the pregnancy. We're starting to hear that this was a surprise and that basically Ronnie had given this ultimatum of, 
listen, you either want to be part of the child's life or um, you don't, I'm still having the baby. During the questioning of Sean, police learned that Ronnie wasn't the only woman in his life. He was playing the field, so to speak. Here he, you know, kindly enough gives us, you know, a list of almost 18 or 16 different women that he either went on a date with, you know, got a phone number from, or had something romantically involved. He's given us, here you go, talk, talk to everyone. You know, these were 18 women over a three year period. Granted, it's still a lot. When the fact came out that Sean had lots of relationships with lots of other women, this was news to Ronnie's family. I wouldn't think that my sister would have put up with that sort of relationship. No. She loved Sean with her whole heart, and I think she expected the same back. I really didn't see any other people in the picture at all. But Sean has said that as close as they were in their relationship, for him, it wasn't exclusive. He's a guy who has a lot of women in his life. And so to be thorough, you're going to have to look at each one of these women that he dated or has had a relationship with. You have several women that could have been jealous of Ronnie. Sean staunchly maintains his innocence with police. So they ask him who he thinks might be responsible. And he says it might be a woman he had a relationship with the year before. She's beautiful, she's a trainer. A relationship he says ended badly. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.